Welcome to my unboxing and first look at the D-Link DWA-182. This is pretty much, I actually don't know of another one. I mean, there's media bridges, there's uh, not a whole lot else, but there are not a lot of wireless AC clients out there yet, and D-Link already has a USB one. So very, very cool stuff. So this is a dual band AC-1200, next generation Wi-Fi. Remember guys, this number right here refers to how many megabit per second it is theoretically capable of delivering. So in theory, this guy's capable of over a gigabit in terms of raw throughput. Now remember, there's overhead involved, so you're not gonna see that in the real world, plus you know distance and speed drops and whatever else, but that's what it is theoretically maximum capable of. So there's the speed, superior range, dual band, so that means 4 point, or 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz. 5 gigahertz, remember, is not quite as good for range, but is a little bit better for speed, and there's a lot less interference on that uh, frequency versus 2.4 gigahertz, which everything from like old wireless cordless phones and all kinds of other stuff's on there. HD 3D ready at that kind of speed, it better be. Easy setup, okay, so draft AC compliant, N compliant, G compliant, A compliant, so it's got lots of different backwards compatibility. WPS setup for easy configuration, this is basically all the same stuff it just told us on the back. Oh, they have 24 seven support now, I didn't even know that. And their packaging is printed with soy ink. Windows 7 compatible, hopefully Windows 8 compatible too. Let's find out what's in here. So we've got a quick start, sort of start here CD. We can download the latest off the D-Link website. We've got something in like Le Francais. Oh, written offer or whatever, source code thing, okay. I'm glad we put that on a piece of paper. Uh, dual band, okay, package content, really? We open up the package and it tells us the package. Well, that's so that we can check and make sure that everything's in there, but seriously, there's your quick start guide. And finally, wow, look at this thing. This is, this is a manly USB adapter. Important, install the software from the bundle CD before inserting the adapter. They did put it on a big yellow sticker, so I guess I better make sure that I do that. Although that won't help me the next time when this is in the pile of like network adapters and I don't see that warning and then I forget and plug it in with You know what I'm gonna do? This is something I highly recommend you guys do for yourselves is leave warning labels for yourself on things. There. Problem solved. No, you know what? Let's just make it not look stupid. There we go. So there's your WPS adapter. There's your indicator LED. That must be a new D-Link logo because I've never seen that before. There's a more traditional D-Link logo. On the back, you got some information including the MAC address. And here we have, oh, cardinal sin committed. Caps that don't attach to the back. That's, that's a shame. USB 2 interface. Um, meaning we'd be limited to 480 megabit per second anyway, because that's the limit of USB 2. So, so if we can get that kind of throughput, then I guess I'll be, then I guess I'll be pleased with it, because that's more than a G adapter can do anyhow. It, it comes with an extension cable. So if you don't want to plug it directly into something, you want to get it up sort of higher away from something, then that'll help, and it'll look something like that. Oh, there we go. I think that pretty much covers it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the DWA-182, one of the first AC adapters for this new exciting standard. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.